Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of our Blue Beam Tips and Tricks series. I am Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants, and today what I'm going to show you is going to be a legendary tip. So you'll pardon the pun, but we're going to be talking about legends today. A really simple tool inside of Bluebeam Review that a lot of folks just don't quite understand how to use or even realize that it's there. So the great thing about working with Bluebeam is that you can develop tool chests. Um, you see over here on the left side of my screen, a moment tool chest. And what I have loaded here are our Zen Estimate Steel Tools. It's a pre-packaged set of tools for structural steel takeoff and estimating if you're interested. You can always look at those on our website. Um, but really, it doesn't matter what tool set you have loaded. One of the great things that we can do in Bluebeam is any tools that we've created. So for example, I'm going to go down here to our W shapes list. Um, I can grab any of these tools. Right? And as I go in and I work with them and I put them into place in my document, I can automatically create a legend on screen. So if I go up here to the gear icon on the top of that particular tool set, I can go to the legend fly out and I can create a new legend. And I can just go in and drop my legend here on my document. Now right now that's not showing much, it's kind of a static setup. But what I want to show you is that now that you've got that in place, now as I go in I start dropping in different shapes. I'm going to grab a W6 column here and I say look I got a W6 over here, over here. I'm just throwing some, some basic column structures in. Right? And then you notice that as soon as I finish placing them, they're being shown up here. So what if I were to go in and let's say hey, you know, I'm going to connect those with a, uh, a W4 beam. Right? And the beam is going to run you know, from here to here to here down to here. Now you see it's actually giving me the linear footage and the structure of all the beams and columns. It doesn't matter what I use. I can grab any symbol. Right? Maybe these are W24s down here like so. And you see it's adding all those in for me. Now you may look at that and say, well, Jimmy, that's, that's great, but it doesn't quite look the way that I want it to look. That's not a problem. I'm going to close the tool set. I'm going to click on this object and I'm going to go to the properties dialog. And you see that over here you have total control over exactly how this lists. I can change the name up here. So if I wanted this to be my, you know, uh, steel items list, I can change that. You see it'll update it over here. I can change the font, the size, if I want it to be bold and I want it to be larger. Let's bring it up to like a 16. I, I can adjust the, uh, the headers. Right? So if I want to go in and adjust the headers and make those bold and italics, right? whatever I need them to be, then I can get down into the body, the actual table. And you see I can modify the text. Maybe I want the text to be like a, a gray color right? and I want them to be a little bit smaller. So I'll bring those down to a 10. Okay, Whatever it is I need to do, I can adjust and modify all of those items with no problem. Right? Most importantly though, what I can do is I can go and I can change the sorting and what's displaying in the column. So you see here right now it's sorting by subjects, but I can easily shift that if I want to sort by some other uh, structure. So let's say I wanted to go in here and I wanted to sort by you know, the label right? or, or by the author or the date. So let's just do it by label. You see now it's sorting by the actual material names. And I can also edit the columns so that I can take any of the columns that are either the built-in columns in Bluebeam or you see for example here in our Zen Estimate Steel Tools we include things like you know uh, the actual uh, you know weight per foot if we wanted to put that in I can put in the finishes that are applied the section marks that are applied and I can turn those columns on with no problem right? that is these these items these columns are modified right? so if I go in and I modify one of these columns you see I'm going to change this from a 6 by 9 to a 6 by 20 okay then when I change that, see it's it's updating that over here on my W6 columns. I got four W6 by 20s. I can turn off the description column and do it all by weight per foot. Right? If I go in and I modify those and I, I add on that specific setup, maybe I want to go in. I'm going to add a uh, a primer or an epoxy, right, to any of those, right? whatever I have going on. Right? I can choose that. I can put in a section mark. You know, if I want to put on section 12 on, you know, S13. Right? And once I place those, you see that all of those items are being added automatically to my legend. Nice, very simple, very easy to use. Now, that's great, right? and we can use that, but the big thing here that I want to show you guys, remember, that's, that's all of these items that are being tagged right now out of the W shapes. That's what we're connected to. The power here is that you can actually go in and I can add any other tool chest. So for example, if I needed to add some base plates, Right? I've got some base plate tools here that I want to add in. I can go to my base plates 
And then when I go to legend, you'll notice that I can add, you can either create a new legend for my base plates as a separate item, or I can add items from the base plates into my steel item list. So just by choosing that, now as I go in and I create new base plates, right, wherever they happen to be, right? See, I've got base plates, it's giving me the square footage of them, right? As I go in and, and check things, right, I can go in and change the size or the, you know, the weight of the, the weight per foot and say, hey, these are all, you know, seven eighths. I see I can add my primer or I can put an architectural coating on those and those are section two on, you know, S12. Right? See that it's automatically updating and adding. So everything that I add to my screen, everything that I set up can easily be added and built and structured and laid out here directly onto your plan itself just by using legends in Bluebeam Review. Simple, cool, and legendary, just like I told you. Catch you next time.